Hi everybody, my name is Michelle. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. The cookbook that we're gonna look at today is a family circle cookbook and it's an annual recipes one from 2008. This was the first year that they started their annual recipe cookbook. So it's kind of neat that I have the first one and it was copyrighted in 2008 by Meredith Corporation. And the recipe we're gonna look at is on page 96 and it's corn chowder. Now I'm gonna say up front, I love this book. It's about an inch and, and a little bit thick. It's got a lot of really great recipes that I cannot wait to, to dive into. And it's got beautiful photographs. Some are full pages. They're, like, they're really nice photos. And this is just a great cookbook overall. I'm, I definitely am going to be back in here again making some other things. And I am excited about making the corn chowder recipe, which you hear about as we go through this. Now, I'm going to say up front, Normally, what I like to do is take a recipe and cook it exactly like it says and see how this is going to turn out, you know, and then give my review on it. I apologize up front because when it comes to soup or chowder, I definitely am going to tweak it. And that's what I did in this recipe. So I do say multiple times that in the description box, I will put the original recipe and then I will also put what I did to tweak it. Now, obviously, you can do this with every recipe that you make. On the channel, I'm just trying to be true to the recipes. But this is an exception for me. I probably will do it again in the future that I love soup so much. I'm going to make sure that if I'm going to make it, I'm going to want to eat it and I'm going to love it. So that's why I did what I did. Without further ado, let's get at the recipe today. I guess for starters, I'm going to mention that the dishwasher is running behind me. So you will hear that. Please just ignore it. So we have our dish on the stove, preheating right now. We're gonna add approximately a tablespoon of oil. We have one medium onion finely chopped. And we have celery. one medium carrot here and one stalk of celery finely chopped. Underneath it? Underneath. Okay. So the recipe specifically says to cook for about seven minutes or until softened. Our I'm pan is not even really heated yet, so we're going to go until they're softened, period. Okay, I'm going to stop this because I don't want my onions doing this. Yep. Right there. Okay, cup and a half of chicken broth. That'll calm this pot down. Okay, in here is half a teaspoon of paprika, a bay leaf, a pinch of thyme, because I mentioned before, it is way too strong for me. It does not call for parsley, but we're putting in a teaspoon anyway. And I also want to put, probably doesn't call for it. I'm tweaking this. So, I want to put in half a tablespoon of onion powder and yes it has onions in it and I know that so we're still doing it okay roughly half a teaspoon of onion powder and I'm gonna put garlic powder in too it does not call for it but I'd like this soup to have some spectacular flavor so that's what we're doing a nice teaspoon of garlic powder Okay, it calls for, we're doing half of this recipe. I'm pretty sure that was said, but it calls for how much milk? It calls for two cups, so we're doing one. And do the milk of your choice. I, Gary and I are not friends, so I'm using cashew milk today, and which will work fine, because it does not affect the flavor at all. It says four cups of corn, so we're doing two. No, I think the liquid, I was wondering whether or not the liquid would be enough, but I think it is. It calls for... Pound of potatoes. A pound of potatoes. Well, we just roughly did, how many did you That's do? That's a half, I weighed it. Oh, half a pound of potatoes then, I guess. Which I'm not sure how many does that equate to physically. Two. Two oh. small red, two medium red. We're face. using red potatoes. Now, did we put salt in this or no? Uh, there's uh there is a quarter teaspoon it was in your bowl so there was a quarter teaspoon in with this how much bacon 
three strips of bacon. It calls for five, so I've got three Coke strips here. This will be good. Now, I'm not going to thicken this until the end. It calls in the recipe for cornstarch, and I'm assuming you mix it with water because you wouldn't just put cornstarch in on its own. Cornstarch and wine, they're mixing okay. it with wine. Okay, well, they have wine in this recipe. Yeah. So, okay. we, so basically, I'm not going to do cornstarch because I don't like the texture of it in a soup. So I'm going to do a mixture of butter or margarine and flour together to thicken this, but I'm not doing it now. I will do it later at the end, or Kevin will do it, one or the other. But for now, that's all that goes in there, that's isn't it? That's all that it? goes in, yeah. Okay, we're going to bring this to a boil, and after it's to a boil, we're going to turn it down to a simmer, and then we're going to cover it, and we're going to leave it here for about 45 minutes. Okay, so I think that's all that goes in here. Obviously, you can add more things if you wanted to yourself. But I'm going to leave it as is. The only extras I'm going to do is the spices and flip out the cornstarch for the margarine and the flour together. So... The original recipe obviously will be in the description box and I will write how I tweaked it a little bit if you're interested in that. Let's see where we're at. Ooh. Okay, we have it on a high temperature right now because we're going to add a mixture of flour and margarine together to thicken this up. So can we take this out first, please? The bay leaf, yeah. Yeah. I wondered about that, but I didn't know. And I'm gonna, excuse my arm, turn this down a little bit now. I'll get you to scrape that out if you don't mind. I'm putting that in and then we're just gonna mix it in and this should thicken it up. I have two tablespoons, yep, of margarine and two tablespoons of flour. Probably only need one each, but it's not gonna hurt to have this thick because it's a chowder. Just stir it right yeah, in. Yeah, see how it's already thickening up? Mm -hmm. Which is what we want. This is gonna be lovely. Now, did you want that salt and pepper now? Or we, we do, yes. We, somebody said we had salt in it, but we don't. So <laughs> that's not my fault, I'm laughing. Um, we're gonna put salt and pepper in now. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a taste before I do that, just to make sure that it isn't already too salty, which I can't imagine. I want the ground pepper, please. And I need a spoon. Yeah. That is thickened up lovely, now it's a chowder. Oh wow, that's cool. I'll turn this burner off at this point. Well, that's good. It definitely needs some salt, though. That is definitely corn chowder because it tastes like corn. Okay, so I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. It's probably not much. You can add to your own portions anyways. And some ground pepper, which it did not call for, but I just want to put some in. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to give it a taste test. I'm going to give that a stir. That is a lovely consistency now. Of course it is, isn't it? Isn't it? That's chowder. That's that's perfect. That flour and margin yeah. just took it right to a... Um, I'm glad I doubled like what I thought in my head originally because that's a perfect consistency. Do you want to grab a spoon and then we'll give it a taste right out of here? Go yeah. for it. Piece of bacon. Yeah, get a little bit of everything if you can. Celery, carrot, corn, potatoes, bacon. Don't burn yourself, it is hot. Bacon, carrots, celery, corn. That is gonna be so good. Do you like it? Yes, yes. That's very good. The first taste I had without the salt, I thought was amazing because I've never had I have never had corn chowder. I have refused to eat it my whole life. Oh, that's lovely. Alright. That's delicious. That is lovely. I love the corn. Yep. The, uh, oh, that is so good. Peaches and green corn was a good choice. That is definitely satisfying, and I cannot wait to have a bowl of this, which we're going to have for lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's it. That is the corn chowder, and as I said, I will put what I tweaked in the description in case you're interested, but I am really happy with that, and I'm very glad that I made it because it's lovely. Yeah. Okay, everybody. First, I'd like to say thank you for stopping and taking the time to watch this video. I know everybody's time is precious and we could all be doing other things. So if you took the time to watch this, I really appreciate it. And if you took the time to listen to this part, I really appreciate it too. Because it's just basically my take on the recipe. So let's talk about this recipe. I am so excited about this recipe. I can't even tell you. Kevin and I were just basically floored 
when it was done, we could not believe how delicious this is. Like, it is really delicious. Now, I know I said briefly in the video that I've never had corn chowder before, and that is true. I've never had corn chowder before. I'm very sorry. I don't like cream corn. I'm not dissing anyone. It's a texture thing. It has to be because I love corn. I, I truly love corn. I don't like cream corn, though. So I've refused to eat it my whole life. Wanted nothing to do with it. Wasn't partaking in that. But I don't know how this works either. For some reason, for the past few months, I've been craving corn chowder, which makes no sense because I've never had it. But obviously, I've had corn and I've had soup. So somewhere in my brain has put that together and said, you need to try this. So I've been looking, and when I found this recipe, I got so excited because it doesn't have cream corn in it. And I, I, I'm speechless, quite frankly. I, I did not know that this could taste this good. I'm sure you could improve on it. I don't know what you could do, but this is definitely going to be something that we make ongoing. And this is definitely something that I would, I would serve this to anybody. I would have people over to eat it. it. It's just so good. I really do hope you check this out because if anybody else made this recipe, I'm pretty sure they would be just as excited as I was. I'm really pleased about the tweaks that we made. I think they probably helped quite a bit. So if you think this is something that you would try, let me know. If you make it, let me know. If you make the original versus the one that I tweaked, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for coming and watching the video. I hope you consider subscribing if you haven't done so and click the buttons. It helps the channel. Not that we're trying to get a great big channel going. It's just nice for people to come see videos. I love cooking videos, so I'm sure there's other people out there that do too. I hope that you all have an absolutely great day today, and I look forward to doing another video for you.